Hey everyone, it's Brandy. Anyone on? I'll wait till I see someone on here. Anyone? Anyone? Ooh, I look tired today. Um, anyway, I thought I'd come live because I wanted to show you what I'm currently working on. And then I also wanted to talk to you guys about a few things that are coming up this weekend. Um, hey Tess. Um, I'm going to talk about you actually. Um, so I'll start about uh, lives. I'm going live with Tess. Um, Tess has been my business coach for the last couple months. We've been working together on um, growing my business, refining my mindset a little bit, strategies, um, ways that I can improve my social media, um, things like that. And so I'm going to do an interview with her. Hey, Debbie. I'm happy to be back too. Hey, Chrissy. Um, so I'm going to be going live with Tess tonight and we're going to be talking about uh, my experience with her coaching and what it's meant for my business and I think more importantly what it's meant for my mindset. So um, I hope you guys, that's um, going to be 5 o'clock my time. I'm in California so Pacific time, um, 5 o'clock I'll be live. And then I also am going to go live on the Dixie Bell page on Sunday at noon. So um, I'll share both of them to my page afterwards but the first one is going to be on Tess Bork's page. I'm um, tonight at 5 and then Sunday at noon. Hey, Tan. Um, um, Sunday at noon on the Dixie Bell page. And I'll share them both to my page after they're done. But um, those are upcoming lives. And then um, I'm going to show you what I'm working on. This is a custom order that I have. Um, I almost just saw the cake. And I'm doing more blending. But this time I'm doing it with different colors and a different looking piece. So I thought it might be interesting to just come on and, you know, blend again. I think there's a lot of issues that people have. It still is the number one thing I get questions about all the time. Um, and I'm doing a little bit differently today. So I thought I'd just come on and do, um, do a couple drawers with you guys on this one. So on this piece, I'm using Dixie Belle Bunker Hill Blue, which is a dark navy color. You see that? Um, I have uh, mixed a little bit of Dixie Belle Bunker of Blue with Midnight Sky, which is a midnight blue. And then Stormy Seas. I love this color. It's a great um, blue-gray. So these are my three colors here. I don't have lids on, so I won't try to hold all of them. Maybe I can. My three colors. You see? Um... And I'm going to do a couple drawers right now. So I'm going to move my camera so you guys can see my drawers. And hopefully this will, this is a little bit different than last time I did it. Um, I don't know. Probably helps to see it as many times as you can sometimes. So let's see. How can I point you guys so you can see my drawers? I think it needs to be up. Okay. Getting a brush, hang on. Sorry, okay. Now let me try to position my door so you can see them. I'm hearing them. Probably, probably should. You know what? Maybe I'll do a flat Maybe I'll do my side instead. For some reason, I can't get a good point to. life. Hang on guys. I'm going to go back. My kids are off school today. They're out playing baseball. You can probably hear them. Ugh, my lighting is bad. Alright, well, we're going to do doors. I'm supposed to go live this weekend. We'll see how that goes, huh? I want you to see these. Yeah, I'm going to grab a kid. Noah! Come here! I need you to do my camera for me. Guys, I'll be back in a minute! I'm 
Okay, here's what I want you to watch. These doors right now. Have an auto pop, Mom? No, we're not doing the popsicles right now. No auto pop. No. Oh. Dad, can I get the popsicles? Yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry, right, guys. Um, so I can't see my comments right now. But um, this dresser, so we're doing a navy blue finish. Um, it's not going to look totally done until I get waxes and stuff on here because the color always changes with waxes. Um, I'm going to spray my surface with water. And then the first color I'm dipping into is a little bit of the Bunker Hill mixed with Midnight Blue. And I'm just going to spray that outside of my door. Um, I'm, I'm really only blending with two colors. I'm blending with the mixed Bunker Hill and the Midnight. And then the stormy seeds. Sorry, I've had a heck of a day. We're supposed to pour our foundation tomorrow. That's not happening. We can't hit another delay. We have to have an, um, soils test done. It happens to be a holiday weekend. So we're we looking at next weekend, which I'm not thrilled about, but going with the flow. Say hi to her. Hi, Tinana. You can talk, but I can hear you. I might just talk back to you. This is my um, almost 10-year-old son videotaping. Okay. So I just outlined my frame in the bunker hill, which has a tiny bit of midnight blue mixed into it. And now I'm going to take a second brush and put some stormy seas in the middle. Um, this is what I find with a lot of blended pieces that I see and the problem a lot of people are having is they'll do this and then where it's, you know, done in the middle, but the outlines aren't blended. And so this isn't really a blended look. You know, it looks like it has a little highlight in the middle, but it looks, these lines look really abrupt they don't look natural at all so i think that's a, pro a problem i see a lot um and so i'm going to show just how to solve that and that's you're you're blending these colors brush them together don't be afraid to use the same brush and brush your colors together you can come as far down as you want I mean, this isn't perfect, but you can even see how much smoother that looks already. I'm gonna go, oh, you know, go over my color. This is this is my lighter paintbrush color. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the lighter color. Just right to that center. And then I'm gonna come back with my darker color and go back over that. And I'm going to brush it into the lighter again. <coughs> you don't want those harsh lines where you stopped one and started the other. Um, another trick I think is helpful is to take just a really a clean paintbrush. Nothing on there. If you're having problems getting it blended, use a clean brush and just use that for blending. Nothing else. Don't put any paint on it. Just brush your colors together with it. Um, so see here on my sides where it's still a little abrupt. Hope you guys can see okay, my son's doing the camera. See how just that dry brush? Sorry, my son has allergies right now. So that still is it's just a process of going back and forth. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit more light on this. I want that to go right out to the edges. Um, the other thing I want to point out is this is Dixie Belle paint. And look at how long the open life of it is. I have not added water again at all. And I'm still working my paint just by adding little bits of additional paint. But the open time of it is amazing. Um, one of the reasons I love working with this paint. It's 
it's not pulling my base layer all up. Back up, sweetie. Oops, that was my dry brush. I just started painting with it. <laughs> I'll get another one. So anyway, that is um, this is my dry brush has some paint on it now. So it's tipped it in my paint. But just taking that dry brush and running it over gets rid of those uh, the brush strokes from the wet paint. I don't know. What do you guys think? What are people saying? <laughs> you can read it. Read it. Uh -uh. <laughs> my son's a little shy. I don't have performers in my family. Can you see me? So, um, here, I'll take it though. Okay. Thank you. Bye -bye. So that's kind of what I wanted to show. This is where I am right now. <laughs> Thank you guys for supporting him. I'm sorry. Um, my little cameraman. Um, so this is what my piece looks like. Um, when I put some wax on this, it's really going to bring it to life. <laughs> you know, um, that's my oldest son, my 10 year old, and he's really my most tolerant one. That's why I went for him. My middle son would have bought me for 15 minutes before finally coming to do it. Um, I'm going to stain the top on this. I do have a little bit of paint on the edge right there. That'll get sanded back off. Um, so I just have the side to do. But anyway, this will be a really pretty navy blue blended piece. Um, and my point was to try to show you guys what you can do with a dry brush to um, help blend some of those colors together. So anyway, um, turn my camera back around. So come, uh, come see my lives tonight at 5 o'clock five and then Sunday at noon, um, California time. I'll see you guys then.